sometimes it's necessary for a page to pass data to another page during navigation. Two techniques for accomplishing this are by passing data through a page constructor and by setting the new page's binding context to the data. Good day everyone. I'm Michael, and I'm using a text-to-speech program to have a more clear speech and audio. In this video lesson, you will learn how to pass data through a page constructor and through a binding context. Now let's open the Visual Studio and do some coding. So here I already added listed view with a custom cell on it. Inside the list view is the image source the name and the status of the student. Here is our data model name student. And these are its properties. In our code behind. I also already hard coded the information for our students. Again, in a real world application, the data could be coming from a local database or a remote service. Here I have a list collection with five students. Then assign this list to the item's source of the list view. And don't forget to add the namespace where the student class is located. This is the name of the project and this is the name of the folder where the student class is located. So what I want to do is to open the student info page upon selecting student from the list view. So let's add the event. Let's implement the event and pass a value to our student info page. Here we cast the selected item as student type then assign it to a variable. Then push the student info page on the top of the stack and pass the name of the selected student. But you'll notice, this list gives us an error. And it tells us that the student info page constructor does not take any arguments. Let's go to the student's code behind and assign an argument to its constructor. Here we can set multiple arguments with your preferred data types. But since I wanted to pass the student name to this page, let's just add a string. The error is now gone. Now let's display the name of the selected student on the student info page. Then go to code behind. What happens here is that we give our label an identifier to access it from the code behind. Then assign its text property to name which is the data we pass from its constructor. Let's run the app. This is the student info page. And here is the student's name that we pass from its constructor. So that's how we pass value to another page using a constructor. Now the second way is to set its binding context. So first I remove the arguments from our student info page. And create a new instance of the student info page and assign it a variable. So I can now set its binding context to student object which is the information of the selected student. Then push the page. Since we bind the student object, we can now access all its property from the student info page. Now we can display all its info.
Let's run the app again. And that is how we pass data from one page to another page using a constructor or setting its binding context. That's all for this video lesson. If you have questions, suggestions, something to add, or you think something is missing or incorrect to the lesson, please let me know. Again, this is Michael, thank you and see you at my next video lesson. Keep safe everyone!